it's found in the wild. Resurrection. Because uh, I really did lose count, and I can't be bothered to go back and look. It's Drewski McGillicuddy's Found in the Wild Resurrection. Wait, I already said that, didn't I? Damn it. Hey, everybody. It's Drewski McGillicuddy, and it's been a while since I made one of these, and I know uh, not everybody watches them, but I got some stuff here to show you, and then there's uh, some stuff that I wanted to talk about. Uh, so I figured I'd take this opportunity uh, well, I've got you all here uh, to talk about some stuff. First, uh, I used my debt dollars. Uh, it's a uh, it's a payment, you know, acquired over so much time doing stuff at the Dent Schoolhouse. So uh, I used it to buy some merchandise, and the first item up is this fancy baseball cap. Now, is there a shadow on my face? No. There's not. Okay, good. Now there is. All right. Well, here we'll just we'll just flip that son bitch backwards. All right. First up, this is my favorite shirt of the season. You might have seen it in one of my other videos, but here is the legitimate shirt right there. See, Poltergeist, huh? Instead of Ryan Geist. Oh, wait a minute. If you're not from Cincinnati, you don't get that. See, there's a beer company in Cincinnati called Ryan Geist. They make all them fancy uh, hipster beers, uh, but it says. Poltergeist scares Cincy the Dent Schoolhouse, and and it's real soft. It's real soft, but you you don't know that because you're you're all the way over there and uh, you know wherever you are. Now it's gonna get cat hair all over. Remember to throw them this way instead of that way. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Now this one, this one matches the hoodie that you may have seen me wearing. Isn't that fancy? Huh? Up a little. Huh? Isn't that fancy? Can you see it? Yeah. Are you looking at it? All right. And then see, it's got the Dent Schoolhouse logo over here on the sleeve, whereas the other one had the Dent Schoolhouse logo in the pocket. And as you can see, there's the Dent Schoolhouse uh, in the bottom of the mouth. And then this one is my other uh, favorite. Uh, and they, they ran out of this. I had to wait for them to go print some more uh, so I've been waiting for a while to make this video. Uh, anyway, BAM! The Charlie the Janitor Channel 13 shirt. Doesn't uh, that just look retro? I mean, it looks very, very 90s, doesn't it? Huh? And it kind of looks... it looks like something that would have been like in the TV Guide section of the newspaper back in the 80s when I was a kid. Yeah, like in the 80s. Yeah, like in the 80s. Yeah, in the 80s. Yeah, in the 80s. Yeah, you remember? Does anybody else remember TV Guide? Huh? Do you remember TV Guide? All right, now the next item uh, is these fancy pair of Levi 505s that I had found for like $3. I wanted to show those off. I should have put them on so you could see how my butt looks in them because, I mean, they, they look amazing. So that's like 100 pair of Levi's that I have now. That's ridiculous. All right. So I was at the Goodwill the other day and I had picked this up, even though I got the PS4, you know, I kept my PS3 and there's some games that I never got around to playing because I, I wasn't, wasn't much of a modern gamer. I played a little bit of the Call of Duties and stuff like that, but uh, I had never played this series at all. And I figured I might as well get the best. For $2.50, I got Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, so let me know in the comment sections down below what I've got to look forward to with this little gem of a masterpiece. I mean, it says five dollars, but it was half off, so I got it for two fifty. Anything else here from Goodwill? Nope, nope, nope. So. Oh, so I was at uh, Meyer the other day. You know, Meyer, it's a grocery store, uh, and it's like you know, the cheapest Blu-rays they had were like seven dollars, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere. Something I haven't had, or don't have, and I haven't seen yet, that I've been really wanting to see. And that's, what's it called? The Revenant? Yeah, see, I'm fucking terrible at this. But yeah, The Revenant. With Leonardo DiCaprio. Got him his Oscar, which, you know, he should have won Oscars uh, several times before this. Uh, in my opinion, 
because uh, Leonardo is one of the greatest actors of uh, my generation. Uh, but yeah, I haven't seen this yet, and you know, I'm, I'm interested to see what it looks like on Blu-ray. I wish I had a 4K TV and 4K Blu-ray, but I'm sure it looks even better. But yeah, just the fact that they use natural lighting to light this, I I'm intrigued by that. Uh, I'm very intrigued by that. Plus, uh, I just got done playing uh, the Red Dead Redemption 2, so this might be fun to uh, watch them play. Especially since we got to see Arthur Morgan get attacked by a bear a couple times, just like yeah, Arthur just Jack like in the movie. But uh, yeah, this was only four dollars. It was the cheapest movie I saw, and I happened to need it, so I happened to grab it. And then while I was buying Sarah her Christmas present uh, one day while I was out. I got confused and thought this was uh, a Bronx Tale, but it's not a Bronx Tale. It's Once Upon a Time in America, also starring Robert De Niro, but this one has James Woods in it. Uh, and apparently, uh, apparently this is a masterpiece. I looked it up on uh, IMDb. It's got an 8.4, and most of the user reviews are a 10 or a 9. Uh, so, I haven't seen this. see your face. I'm very excited to see this. Don't worry about my face. Anyway, have you seen Once Upon a Time in America? Is it a, is it a forgotten classic? Because I've never in my life heard anybody talk about that movie. Oh, I forgot about this one. Uh, this one I didn't find in the wild. Uh, a dear uh, friend of mine, Rebecca Reinhardt, had sent me this in the mail because she had got the 4K and it's one of my favorite horror movies of 2018 even though I'm slacking there's uh, so many horror movies in 2018 and I haven't got around to seeing yet but this is by far the best I've seen uh, this might be the best horror movie I've seen since The Witch uh, but a lot of people don't like The Witch but I think it might be because they're ignorant uh, and there's people that don't like that and uh, Cameron Scott it might be because you're ignorant no I'm kidding Cameron don't get mad uh, I think you should watch it again uh, but watch it like you know when you're in higher spirits or something. I don't, I, I don't know. And then last but not least, I missed my opportunity to watch this when it was. Uh, it might even still be on there, and I don't know. I just didn't bother to see that. But I saw it out in the wild, and I'm like, I gotta have it, even though I've got the trilogy. But I don't believe, uh, I don't believe it's the director's cut. And now I've got RoboCop, the director's cut, one of the greatest action movies of all time. Back when rated R movies were made for kids, because you know this movie spawned a, a cartoon series, and a toy line, and you know everybody loves RoboCop. I mean, when I was younger when it came out, this I is remember watching it. this is the kind of movie that I'm gonna wait until I have an actual laptop and a real camera, real lighting, and a real background, and you know actually put time and effort into my RoboCop review. Because uh, right now, it's you know, for the past year, I've just been practicing, you know, just trying to get, you know, my foot on the ground and the door uh, of the YouTube world, and I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But uh, there's RoboCop, the unrated director's cut. Now, real quick, before I leave, I was going to do a, a trailer reaction for it, but then I, I was also going to do one for the Avengers, uh, it was too late for that. Uh, but what the hell was that damn thing called? Bird Box. Bird Box. Okay. I was on my way uh, to Kohl's. Oh, yeah. Don't show his present. Okay, never mind. You don't get to see that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I went to Kohl's to get our grandson uh, a Christmas present. And on the way there and on the way home, I heard this commercial for this thing coming to Netflix with Sandra Bullock. And it's saying Academy Award winner Sandra Bullock. And, you know, you hear the audio of her telling her kids, you know, no matter what you do, don't take off your blindfold. And I'm like, what the hell is this shit? And I get home and I, I'm scrolling through my YouTube recommendation things. And there's the Strangers, uh, Stranger Things 3 uh, trailer teaser thing, which was kind of pointless in my opinion. Yeah, I figured I'll throw that out there. Uh, the, the Strangers Things... <laughs> Oh my God, I could have swore I turned my sound off. Anyway, the fucking bird box uh, happened to be on there. I was like, well, let's watch that shit. Now this looks like some shit 
that I've been waiting for my entire life. Uh, I have no idea what the fuck I just watched. I have no idea what the hell's going on here. Uh, there's some kind of creatures or something, and then there's some kind of thing making people do stuff. And it's like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. But it looks intriguing as hell, and I cannot wait for December 21st to check out Bird Box on Netflix. Have you seen the trailer? Uh, maybe, if I don't forget, I'll leave a link for the trailer in this, uh, the, the thingy down below, and you can check it out. Or just go fucking type in Bird Box trailer into the YouTube search bar, go watch the goddamn trailer. And then, you know, let me know in the comments section if you think that that looks bad fucking ass. Well, here's a good idea. Since it is going to be in a limited theater release, anyone who's got it in a theater near them, why don't you go out and watch it and support it at the theater and let them know in Hollywood that we want to see stuff like this instead of the same old crap over and over and over. I am tired of seeing the same old crap Hollywood. Uh, but, you know, this year has been pretty good, you know, for the most part. Mostly yeah. video games, though. Even though I haven't got a chance to play, I, uh, I, do, I do keep a close eye on the reviews of everything. Uh, I just don't always talk about it. Anyway... Uh, that's probably uh, enough of my rambling on bullshit. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, make sure you click the like button. And if you're new here, click subscribe. Because I'm trying to get to 600. Because if I get to 600 subscribers, she promised me she'd go buy me a new microphone. And then I can actually do uh, the, my, my sing-along bop. Or, you know, something. I don't fucking know what the fuck I'm talking about anymore. Jesus Christ.